U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met today with his Russian counterpart in a diplomatic attempt to ward off Vladimir Putin's potential plan to invade neighboring Ukraine. And as our Allison Harris has been reporting all day today on Morning in America, President Biden is doubling down on his warning to Moscow that the U.S. and its European allies will mount a, quote, severe and coordinated economic response should Putin move in on Ukraine. Julia Manchester from The Hill with me now to talk about what's at stake here uh, as these two European nations hover on what some are saying is the brink of war. But it seems to be a lot of conjecture, uh, Julia. We don't know what is going to happen. The uh, Kremlin and uh, Vladimir Putin have both denied that there will be any invasion into Ukraine. But obviously there is some intel that the White House is getting for them to be so concerned and so involved. Absolutely. Good morning, Adrian. Definitely tensions escalating today between the West and Russia due to this intel that the U.S. has come across that would suggest that Russia could move into essentially uh, start uh, moving into potentially a situation where it could be going into Ukraine. And that's obviously concerning for NATO allies in Europe as well as the United States. We know if we look at the pattern of Russia's behavior over the past number of years, it seems like Russia is intent, especially under Vladimir Putin um, and essentially creating or recreating uh, the what used to be the former Soviet Union by moving into these uh, former Soviet states like, uh, for example, Crimea in 2014. So this is obviously a different situation, but there is that concern. And for the United States, the stakes are essentially especially high because of the fact that they don't want their sphere of influence in Eastern Europe to dwindle. They want Ukraine to essentially be a part of NATO. They don't want Russia to have that much influence. So stakes are high on both sides of this conflict this morning. But a lot of us uh, in media are speaking about this as one of the headline stories, and yet almost casually, and I don't mean that as a critique to anybody, it's just we have been overwhelmed by the domestic agenda here. Build back better. The, the pandemic, okay? Um, inflation. And then you have this international story. So is anybody talking about war at this point? We keep on saying consequences for Russia, but is war a word that will be used or should be used at this time? Well, I will say this. We have seen the term Cold War, second Cold War, thrown around by lawmakers and many in the media as a potential um, situation that we could find ourselves in with Russia. Some people believe we're already in a bit of a Cold War with Russia when it comes to the Ukraine. So that's something to absolutely take an eye, keep an eye on because it seems like tensions are still pretty frosted over between the United States and Russia, which has been par for the course for a number of years now. You know, that being said, when we talk about this being an international issue and a, you know us paying attention to domestic issues this is where the two sort of link up Russia is one of the biggest producers of oil and natural gas really in the world. And if sanctions were to be leveled on Russia, if there were to be some sort of armed conflict or any sort of conflict with Russia, we could see a huge uh, impact on oil prices, gas prices here in the United States, as well as Europe and potentially around the world. This is when the United States is facing soaring inflation, um, tr the economic impacts of this coronavirus pandemic. So that's where there is definitely a link and where I think Americans should be keeping an eye out uh, or an ear out to this issue. I understand that the coronavirus and the domestic impacts of it are a major story here in the United States, but there is a link or there could be a link to the situation on the Russia-Ukraine border. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.